Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we are back with the tips for the final time this season. It is grand final week. Grand final uh, day is tomorrow uh, as of recording this. So um, unfortunately this video might seem a bit rushed because um, I haven't really had a lot of time this week to make videos and uh, I'm recording this at 7 o'clock at night um, so yeah we're gonna get through this fairly quickly so just gonna go give a little rundown of um, how I think the game will go I'll give my tip for the game I'll give my tip for first goal scorer and Norm Smith medalist um, and yeah so first of all let's just take a look at the lineups because they have been released now um, yeah, there have been a few interesting developments. So, Brisbane have gone unchanged um, completely. Jack Payne was apparently fit to return, but they decided that Darcy Gardner did such a good job on uh, Kerno last week that he deserved another crack. Um, hasn't played a lot this year. Uh, he's been kind of... Before, before this year, he was playing more games than he was uh, playing in the VFL. But uh, this year, he's fallen a bit out of favour. Up until the most important time of the year, which is the, the, deep, the deep end of finals. So, yep. <laughs> yeah, that was an interesting development. Uh, I thought for sure that you know, Jack Payne would come back in if he was fit. Potentially, he was fit, but like maybe... 90% fit and they thought that it's it's just not worth the risk um, playing a 90% fit player as opposed to a 100% fit player but uh Collingwood well Billy Frampton has come into the side he's listed as a center half back don't know if that's gonna end up being the case because they've also got Jordan Degoe at full forward so I, 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 I somehow don't think these lineups are overly reliable in terms of where all the positions are going to, where all the players are going to be positioned. But um, also coming into the side is, is Jack Gitterman over here. Um, well, he was in the side, but as a sub, he's been elevated from the sub. They haven't picked a sub yet. Um, they haven't finalised the sub yet, but for the most part, other than, yeah, that and Billy Frampton coming into the team, uh, yeah, everything's remained mostly the same. Um, no, that's right, uh, Patrick Lipinski, Lipinski goes out of the team, so he might be the sub. I think there's a good chance he is going to be the sub, and also McStay is injured, of course, that's who Frampton came in for, so I think... Well, he might, he might play centre-half back, but he also could play uh, up in the forward line as well. But, um, yeah, Billy Frampton, uh, once again, proving my video at the end of last year wrong. Um, so if, if he ends up winning a premiership, then I um, can't wait for all the comments on that. But, uh, yeah, so they are the lineups, And... Uh, now to give my, my thoughts on what are going to happen in the game. At first, when I was thinking about my tip, I thought Collingwood by a considerable margin. Because um, I, I just had this feeling that Collingwood would uh, put really put Brisbane to the sword. Um, at the MCG, Brisbane aren't a good MCG team. I would just With the crowd backing... I mean, grand final crowds are normally... Barely even, but I, I think it's safe to say there's definitely going to be more Collingwood fans here at the MCG than Brisbane fans. Um, so yeah, I just thought that they'd handle the bet the the moment better. Um, they have more finals experience at the MCG. They they are better proven performers in big games, and they just seem to have this willpower and confidence that stands up in the big games so i was thinking collingwood by like eight or nine goals but the more i think about it 
Collingwood have not at all been convincing in their last two wins. Against Melbourne, they they could have they should have probably lost that game. If if Melbourne had a half functioning forward line, they would have lost that game. Because Melbourne dominated territory. They just had a completely dysfunctional forward line. And against GWS, well, they, that was a comeback win. It was a scrappy, not at all convincing win. Um, a few dodgy free kicks went their way in the last quarter. I don't think that's why they won, though. I, I think that throughout the game, GWS got a few dodgy free, dodgy, um, uh, dodgy non calls, I should say. And yeah, no, but um, anyway, yeah. So I, I don't think that umpiring is why they won last week. But um, it it was not at all a convincing uh, victory. Same with week one. And Brisbane, on the other hand, well, they pummeled Port Adelaide. Um, and then against Carlton, after quarter time, they well, they just dominated that game. I mean, yeah, that they can't do that, what they did in the first quarter again against Collingwood. Otherwise, it is good night. Like that, that first quarter, I was barracking for Brisbane. I, I didn't want to see an all-Victorian grand final again um i want brisbane uh, uh much would i would have much preferred to see brisbane in the grand final than carlton but uh yeah i i just remember watching that first quarter when carlton were five goals up i just thought geez this is just tragic isn't it like this is i i went over to my um my my relatives place and we all watched the game and it was just like it was just so flattening to see them get absolutely destroyed in the first quarter. But then after that, they came back into the game. They got a goal late in the first quarter, which just raised their confidence levels a bit. And it got them going. And from there, from there on, they just never looked back. Um, and I think that their game style really does hold up well against Collingwood's. I mean, it's proven to. They beat them by 33 points earlier in the year at the Gabba, and then by 24 points. In fact, we can actually look at the, uh, yeah, so 33 points and 24 points. And that 24 points sort of flattered Collingwood a bit, because I remember it was getting out to a bigger margin than that, and then they kicked a few goals late in junk time. So they do perform quite well against Collingwood, and even in years gone by, like, that was 2022, where they beat Collingwood. Um, they beat them in 2021 as well, twice, uh, after the siren, Zach Bailey, and then they pummeled them later in the year. But that was when Collingwood were a bit down in the dumps. Um, so, yeah. But, but, even, but even still, so they've won their last five or six games against Collingwood. Um... So that, they'll have the edge uh, in that sense. Um, and yeah, the more I've thought about it, it it's a really wa a tough one to decide. I I want to tip Brisbane, but I think it's I'm still going to go with Collingwood. I'm going to go Collingwood by 11 points. Um, I, I think it'll be a close grand final. Um, it We are due for a close grand final. Um... Yeah, originally I thought it was going to be another blowout, but then I thought about it more, and I'm like, actually, Brisbane do stand a chance here, I think, but I'm still going to be tipping Collingwood by 11 points. And, well, now for Norm's... Oh, let's go first goal scorer. Um, first goal scorer... I'll, I'll go someone a bit, uh, a bit left of field. Um, I'll go, I'll go Humor Cluggage to get the first goal for Brisbane. I'm not tipping the winning team to keep the first goal, because I don't think, really think the first goal means much in terms of who's going to win the game. Yeah, I'll go Humor Cluggage. This is a bit of, a bit of a left field one. Um, yeah. And then Norm Smith medalist. There's, there's a few options. You'd think... I've tipped Collingwood, so I'll go with someone from Collingwood. Um, fortunately, the umpires aren't voting, so Lockie Neal, if, if he gets another 20 disposal game, shouldn't get the Norm Smith medal, hopefully. Um, 
but yeah, I, I'm gonna go with Jordan Ngoi. He's a he's a proven big time performer. He's been brilliant. He was brilliant in the 2018 final series. I believe he was the highest goal scorer of that final series. Again in 2022, he had a few really outstanding games, and so far in 2023, he's been incredibly good in the final series. So I'm gonna back him to uh, have another good final and a good enough final to get best on ground and the Norm Smith Medal. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover in this preview. Hope you did enjoy hearing my thoughts. Uh, leave your tips in the comments below. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I will see you all in the next one.